friends welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to dive deep into some advanced java ad questions that might you encounter in coding co interviews or exams uh, we'll go through some multiple choice questions covering topic like uh, streams lambdas collectors reduce and more with detailed explanation for each so let's get started with our first mcq question okay first question is what does the map method do in a streams and here are the options uh, first is transform each elements by its length second is filter filters names starting with j says creates a new stream of a strings and last is combines all elements into one so first we'll take a look at the following this code snippet uh, so what's happening here first is creating a list of names the first line create a list of names. We have three streams that is John, Doe and Jane. Uh, this list will be our starting point which we want to process using Java streams. Then a second line is converting the list into a stream. Okay. Uh, the stream method uh, is called on the list converting it into a stream. Uh, think of a stream as a, a sequence of elements from a collection that can be processed in a parallel or sequentially. In this case, it's processing the name of uh, name in our list. Then we have map method. Now this is the important part. The map method is used to transform each element of the stream. It takes each name in the stream that is John, Doe and Jane and applies the uh, length uh, function to them. This function converts each string into its length. Length. So uh, John has four letters, Doe has three and Jane has length of 4. So after this operation, we have transformed our stream of the names into a stream of their lengths that is 4, 3, 4. Now we have collecting the result. After transforming, we, uh, we use the collect method to gather uh, the result back into the list. So this create a new list that is name lengths con uh, containing the length of the names that is 4, 3, 4. So the output of the result will be 434. So now understand understand the choices. So choice one is uh, transform each element by its length. So this is the correct answer because the map method is applying the uh, length function transforming each name into the into their uh, uh, respective length. Now second choice is filters names starting with J. This is incorrect because map method doesn't filter elements. Filtering is done using filter method. Uh, in streams. Now we have seen uh, create a, a new stream of stream. Also incorrect because the map method doesn't create a stream of streams but a stream of integers that is uh, the lengths. Then <coughs> combine uh, all elements into one. This is not what the map method does. Combining elements into one would be done using something like reduce. So option A is correct. Alright, let's move on to our next question. What does the following collectors.to map code do? Uh, we'll break down the following code snippet. First, let's see the choices here. So you can pause the video and uh, come with your uh, output. So let's break down the uh, following code snippet. Uh, here, uh, first step is creating a list of names. Uh, here we have a list of with three names, Alice, Bob and another Alice. Notice that Alice appear twice which will be important later when we deal with duplicates. Now uh, second step is uh, converting the list to a stream. Again we have seen before calling stream method on the list transform it into a stream allowing us to perform operation like mapping and collecting. Now uh, third using collectors.toMap method. The most crucial part of this code is this whole line. Uh, let's break it down. First argument is this. Uh, this is the lambda expression that specify the key for each element in the map. Here the key is simply the name itself. So each name in the list will be used as a key in the resulting map. Okay. Now second argument, uh, this is lambda, ref uh, this is method reference that specifies the value for each element in the map. In this case, the value will be the length of the name. So allies is five and Bob is three. Now third argument, uh, this is called the merge function. And why do we need it? Because allies appears twice in the list. By default, the collectors.toMap method will throw an exception if there are duplicate keys. 
However, uh, by providing a merge function, we can control how to handle uh, those duplicates. In this case, the function, uh, this function means if there is a duplicate, keep old val value and discard the new one. This old value, common new value, uh, arrow function, old value. So the first allies uh, length 5 is kept and the second allies is ignored. Now resulting the map, after applying collectors map method, we get a map where the names are the keys and their lengths are the values. Let's see what happened to the duplicates. The first allies uh, creates an entry with 5. Bob creates an entry with 3. The second allies uh, is ignored because of the merge function. So the resulting to the map, uh, it will print uh, allies equals to 5 and Bob equals to 3. Now understanding the choices, first is throw an exception due to duplicates. This would be, uh, this would uh, have been true if we didn't provide the merge function. Without it, Java would throw an illegal state exception when encountering duplicate keys. Choice B uh, creates a map with string length and handles duplicate by keeping the uh, first occurrence. This is the correct answer because the merge function, uh, this old uh, val, common new val, arrow function old val, uh, keeps the first occurrence and ignores the subsequent duplicates. Uh, third choice is create a map and override duplicate with new value. This is incorrect because the merge function does not uh, override duplicate. It explicitly keeps the original value. And last is combine all values into one. Uh, this is also incorrect because we are not combining values. We are simply keeping the first value in the case of duplicates. So option B is correct. Okay, next up we have question about flat map method in Java stream. Here are the options. You can pause the video and come with your output. Uh, let's break down the code uh, step by step. First is a nested list creation. Here we are creating a nested list, which means it's a list that contains other list inside it. In this case, we have three lists inside the main list. The first list contains EB, the second list contains C and D, and third list contains EF. So the nested list look like this. Now converting uh, the nested list to a stream, thus this nested list to, uh, stream method uh, converts the nested list into a stream, allowing us to perform a stream operation on each inner list using flat map method. Now here the most important part of the code flat map list uh, method reference stream. The flat map method is used to flatten or combine streams from nested structure. It takes each list inside the nested list and convert it into an individual stream. In other words, it flattens the inner list into a single continuous stream. Here, how flat map works in this example. The first list A, B becomes a stream of A, B. The second list C and D becomes a stream of C, D. The third list E, F becomes a stream of E, F. Okay. These streams are then merged into a single stream containing all the elements that is A, B, C, D, E, F. Now collecting the result, after flattening the stream, we use collect uh, collector.toList method to collect the element back into a list called flat list. The flat list will contain all the elements from the nested list in a single list. So it will print A, B, C, D, E, F. So option A is correct. All right, let's move on to the question about optional in Java 8. Uh, here are the options. You can pause the video and come with the uh, output. Uh, so what's happening here? Before we dive deep into uh, the code, uh, let's quickly cover what optional is. In Java 8, optional is a container that may or may not contain a value. It's commonly used to prevent null pointer exception by wrapping potentially null values and providing methods to safely handle them. Here. Uh, now let's look at the code. Here we are using off null label method uh, to create an optional object. The off null label method allows us to pass a null value that could potentially be null. If the value is non null, it uh, returns an optional containing that value. If the value is null, it returns optional dot empty method, which represent an empty optional. In this case, since we are passing null, the optional variable will hold an empty optional. So what does optional dot empty mean? An optional, an empty optional means that the container does not hold any value. We can think of it as safe wrapper around null. It won't throw a null pointer exception. 
and you can safely perform uh, checks to see if value is present. Now, uh, let's go over uh, the choices given in this question. First is optional will throw a null pointer exception. This is incorrect. Uh, optional dot nullable method does not uh, of nullable method does not uh, throw a null pointer exception even if the value is null. Instead, it create an empty optional. The only time optional throw uh, a null pointer exception is when using optional dot off method with a null value. Second choice is optional dot empty method is created. This is the correct answer. Since we pass null to the optional dot off null label method, method, it returns an empty optional, which means there is no value inside the container. Option C, uh, this is uh, optional dot is present uh, returns true. This is incorrect because uh, optional dot is present method would returns false when the optional is empty. The is present method checks if the if there is a value inside the optional, and since it's empty, it will return false. Uh, now, four choices optional can cannot handle null. This is also incorrect. The whole point of using optional is to handle uh, safely handle potentially null values without causing null pointer exception. exception. In this, uh, in fact, the off nullable method is uh, specifically designed to handle null values. So the option B is correct. Okay. Now let's move on to our next question about reduce method in Java stream. Here are the options. So I will be working with the following code snippet. Uh, let's break down the uh, let's okay. Let's break down the code step by step. Uh, here we have a list of integer one, two, three, four, five. Our goal is to sum all this number using reduce method. Okay, converting the list into a string, calling string uh, method on the list transform into a string. We know that allowing us to perform operation on the element of the list using the reduce method. So the reduce method is a terminal operation in a streams that combines the element of the stream into a single result. It takes two main arguments. The first argument is identity value, which is zero in this case. Okay. Uh, the identity value is the initial value for the reduction operation and will be returned if the stream is empty. Now second argument. The second argument is the accumulator function. This function specifies how to combine two elements from the stream. In this case, we are using lambda expression. Uh, this a plus b to sum two numbers. Let's break down what happened when the reduce method runs. First, it starts with identity value zero. Then it process each element of the stream one by one. So first, zero plus one will return one. Then one plus two equals three. Then three plus three six. Then six plus four ten and then 10 plus 5, 15. After going through all the elements, the re result of the reduction is 15. Now printing the result, it will print 15. So let's understand the choices here. First choice is combine elements of the stream. Yes, this is correct because the reduce method is used to combine or reduce the element of the stream into a single result using the provided accumulator function. Option C, option B, filter elements, it is incorrect. Uh, the reduce method does not filter element, it combines them. Uh, option C maps element to their squares. This is also incorrect. This is describing what the map function would do, not reduce. And option D collect elements into a list. This is also incorrect. The reduce method does not collect elements into a list. It combines them into a single result. To collect element into a list, we would use collect, uh, collector, collect method. So option A is correct. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the upcoming video, we'll see next 10 MCU question regarding Java 8. So stay tuned. If you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe.